On today's episode of the Jamaican Cooking Journey, I'll be sharing with you a different little version of a brown stew chicken. But I just want to pause here to say special thanks to all the people supporting our channels. Welcome um, to all the new people. Thanks for all the love and support. I also want to send a shout out to my patrons. If you would like to be a part of my patron family, there is a link in the description. Click on it and show us some love on our Patreon page. Our post notification shout out today, they go right up there. So today's video is going to be some round stew chicken. Not the authentic original. If you'd like to see that one, there is one there with over a million views that I've done probably about four years ago. We're going to link it up for you if you're somebody that is interested in the authentic original Jamaican brown stew chicken with no ketchup, no browning. This one will be adding a little thing or two. So I'm going to get on to this one with you. So right here I've got me some chicken. I've already washed them, cleaned them, and I'm going to be adding some salt, like about a teaspoon and a little of salt to the amount of chicken. While it's graving down, if I need more salt, I'll add more salt. My seasonings come, um, consist of some cumin. I'm not gonna be using like all purpose and them something there because, you know, my thing does different. Y'all know that, right? May use some basil. Paprika, and it's smoked. So I'm going to put some paprika. The paprika, you know, it does color in and a flavor, except this one is a smoke one, so you get a little smoke from it. I'm going to put here some cayenne pepper. We don't want to get too hot, but we are put a little heat on it. So we are going to go now, and we have some garlic. I'm going to be grating my garlic. Next clip. So garlic powder could be okay for you if you have garlic powder. I've got my skins on, so if you have somebody who want to move your skins in, feel free. I'm taking my time to rub this in because um, these chicken, they have some, like the ties and so, and I've split my ties right there. You see that? I've given it a split. This split enables the tie to cook. I know the tie and them part, they them kind of thick, so sometimes them kind of take a little time, so I always try to give them a slit right here. I'm gonna go rub this in, leave it to marinate for 45 if you want to do it, 45 minutes are there about, 30 minutes to 45 minutes are there about. If you want to do this overnight, so much the better. This is just chicken, you know, it not need not too much of an excitement. So I'm gonna rub it in and in the next clip I'll be cooking. With this meal I'll be making some cabbage and I'll be making a little white rice. It's a midweek dinner and that's what I'm doing. Brown stew chicken, a different liquor wear, and I am gonna be making some rice and some cabbage. Next clip. After about 35 minutes, my pot is heated and I'll be putting in my chicken pieces. I've preheated it on the medium as always. I didn't like We're trying to see if everything is going to hold in at this spot, okay? So we are making brown stew chicken, not the ketchup and the um, not the no ketchup and no brown either. We are making it with maybe a little um, to make a pig. So we're gonna have our chicken like that. It's on the medium. We have a cover it so while it's browning, it's cooking. Okay. So we're gonna be making our rice. We're gonna be washing our rice quite a few times, and we're gonna leave it to to cook off. And then we're gonna strain the water. Won't be won't go in depth. We're gonna wash it quite a few times. We won't go in depth. We're gonna cook it off. We're making a good amount of rice today. We're feeding a few people. So you're gonna wash this rice until this water not so starchy. And then we're gonna set it to boil off without any salt. And then we're gonna come up a certain time, 
strain it off and then do what we're supposed to do but I won't show you that full tutorial right here because we have a video that I went in depth quite a few years ago showing you you know for the people that when you eat the white rice it bloat you we do it a certain way that we get out most of the starch so it's not too much on you so I'll catch you then So our rice is right here, coming to a boil. So as it starts boiling, no salt. We're gonna strain off this water. This, this, this is to help excess. You see, you still can't see my rice, but it's still going to cook this rice. So when you do it that way, you get a lot of the starch out. Right here, my chicken, ready to turn, and all that. Duck. So my chicken has started taking color, so I'm just going to be cooking in. Lots of chopped onion, I have like a large onion, finely chopped, not red, roughly chopped. Rich of scotch bonnet pepper, and I'm putting it in here right now. I'm telling you that I'm doing this bonnet with chicken differently. This one, it takes more time. Some frozen chopped celery, and I'm putting it in here right now. This here is my container that I seasoned my chicken in, just a little broth bit, like about two tablespoons of water. And I'm gonna rinse it, show it to the side, gonna get my flame up, and I'm gonna be, you see that, this pond, right down there, shoot them up dad. You see it, you see it, it has the color going on in there. So I'm gonna let it just start. You see that? Brown nice pretty color. This is a different way. Next clip. Okay, so I did turn down my flame. And right here I'm putting in a little bell pepper. Whatever the color, it doesn't matter. Get my flame right back up. You see the gravy down there? So you want to be turning over your pieces right now or your chicken all right just to make sure that it in the gravy and then chicken yeah them just so small you have to be careful when you're cooking like that and especially in these spots because they chop a lot of steam so you see my onion and my something there my celery yeah they're going with it thing. i want to at this point put i'm gonna get my flame up to so i i'm gonna put some red cooking wine right here Cause you see that gravy building down in there. All right. I'm gonna put some dark soy sauce, and I, I think they said this has ginger in it. So put to your liking. I'm gonna scoop in some ketchup. Sprinkle or a little more than a sprinkle of brown sugar just for a little extra extra flavoring and we're gonna start um mix up this thing and now in this see that color get the flame down make your chicken pieces get in there turn them over from side to side and also last but not least i've got me here a little apple cider vinegar and that was the main reason for me to put a little sugar just to balance out the acidity of everything at this point i'm gonna turn my flame down i might put about a quarter cup of water coming every now and then i'm gonna cook it down for another 15 minutes coming every now and then to turn the pieces over as i'm gonna turn my flame down down to low and let this part that produces so much steam just finish cook off these bigger parts of the chicken you see that a brown stew chicken this here a different way next clip so this is our rice all cooked up and when you do it like this too you know it expands more 
Uh, we Jamaican say swell. So we're gonna throw it off right in here. And what we are gonna do now, we're gonna start run it under the pipe and we're gonna wash it right there until all this water start running clear. And then we are gonna put back the rice. Do what we have to do now. Fix it up with a little butter and then when you see this rice again, it all cook. Next clip. So you see that you see that simmer and my brown stew chicken? Yeah, you see this gravy? Look at this gravy. And as it simmers, it gets even better. Look at it as I pour it over the chicken pieces. That's what I told you I'd be coming back every now and then. This is the last. I've just turned the chicken pieces. Look at that. If you have honey, you can substitute honey for the sugar. I remember I didn't put a lot. You see everybody around up and down now because they say sugar this and sugar that. Look at that. You see? You know why I make this thing here dry out, you know? So we're going to leave it. Look at it. Look at it. This brown stew. What do you do it another way? This brown stew, this method of brown stew is a midweek one. In the midweek, when you come from work, you don't have the time for brown up and wait and all of them something. So this is how you do it midweek. We're going to leave it to simmer a little more while it's all up chicken. And I can tell you, if I tell you the taste of that gravy here, you would have never believe. Next clip. So I'm going to be preparing my cabbage. I'm going to be cutting it up first with a little water salt in the water you could use a little white vinegar too to cleanse it in the water yeah me use salt water so i'm gonna start cutting it or me want it you know i'll cut it like this just cut it and leave it in the salt water for a time maybe a two to three minutes for this way cleanse it all right throwing off the water now salt water from the cabbage so I'm just have to run the um some fresh water over it yeah time for our little cabbage farm and we got some some butter here and we're gonna be melting our butter we're doing it off an I heat some frozen celery and we're gonna put that in there and leave the celery to be mousing around in there as the heat takes it it will just start you know getting the flavors oh don't mind because the celery is semi -fro semi frozen so there may be a little water, but don't mind that. Okay, if you have fresh celery, no problem. I'm gonna leave that in there to the start moving around. So you're supposed to be hearing my celery and my my little ham butter over there. Sizzling away. This is my cabbage that I washed and I left it to um to drain. I have here some shredded carrot. I'm gonna put some grated garlic to this. Two pegs, more if you please. Or if you don't have or you don't want to use fresh garlic, you wanna up for the um, garlic powder, no problem. Pick your choice. I'm gonna put this up together. I'm gonna like mix up my garlic. Why I'm doing my garlic like this, seasoning it up like? It's just a different cooker way. We have so many different ways that we can do things. So I'm just getting my little shredded carrot. And if you want to shred anything else, you want to put some red onion or anything in there, you can just feel free to go ahead and do that. Okay? So I'm rub mixing in because my ginger, my garlic, <laughs> won't burn. On the very high heat, this is my celery and my little butter. I eat and I'm going to be putting my cabbage and my carrot in there. Just showing you different ways, family, of doing things. There are so many ways to do the very same thing, you know? It's just so different. You want to mix up your cabbage in there now? Yeah, man. Move on your cabbage. Let it get into, mixed up in, does it get mixed in? with the celery and the butter. You notice I haven't put any salt. I want to know some of my allies left my salt and my green leafy vegetable. Wow, 
Mr. the brown steel chicken, Mr. Ita. Lick off my nose in a family. Look. Look at that. That's what never found out. You see that? Brown steel chicken. Oh my word. So lick off my nose. This is our finished rice. One pot of rice. But we may not consume all of that. So get it in there. We can add a little black pepper. And when you see me next. Everything will be ready. I'll just be eat, re-eating my brown steel chicken because it was there and it was cooked. And it. it was the first thing that was finished. So you need to put like about quarter cup of water in there, get it all eaten and ready to start plating. So I'll catch you in the next clip. So this is our rice farm, all cooked, yeah, most of the starch gone out of this, yeah. So in the next clip I'll have some all plated up just for you. Okay now fam, there you have it, I'm re-eating the chicken, see I've just put out a serving of rice and steamed veg, so I'm just re-eating, remember say chicken cook and then sit down, so when you serve it, you have to re-eat it because you want a little melanin. You want a little juice and all of that. It's okay now. So I'm gonna give you this piece of thigh. Remember I showed you when the thigh is big, even if it's small, you split it right that, like that. You see that? So you want a spoon on your gravy now. Spoon on your gravy to how you like your gravy. I'm gonna clean up and come back to present. From my kitchen to yours, from my Jamaican kitchen to your family table, to your palate, and most of all to your stomach, it is midweek brown stew chicken with a little rice and some steamed veg. Please do enjoy. I'll catch you with another video.